when we looked at it, uh, we identified uh, about a $200 billion opportunity for Amazon in 2018 in the, in the retail and mail uh, segment. That's only 43% of total U.S. pharma uh, revenue. That's only 62% of, of actually the, the segments that are going to enter retail and mail because they're not going to do specialty drugs just given issues around reimbursement, um, a small patient cohort, and they're also not going to get into hospital and clinical prescription drug sales. So it's just not quite as big. And, and when we stacked it up versus the other uh, potential verticals for Amazon, it's the sixth largest B2C vertical, um, X-Auto. And, um, and, you know, despite we, we have proprietary data saying high demand for prime subs, great purchasing synergies, um, but just uh, it just wasn't quite as big as, as we thought it, thought it would be. And, and other verticals that we've looked at, for instance, we said that apparel, consumables, and food and beverage grocery are 12, 8, and 5 times bigger than pharmacy for Amazon in 2020 uh, per our, our, our bull case uh, estimates on, on their pharmacy business. Right. And does that include acquisitions they'd have to make or something they could do from here? Yeah, that, that excludes acquisitions. In the report, we did discuss the rationale for potentially uh, uh, Amazon buying Rite Aid. Uh, it, it's about a $5 billion enterprise value right now, and it would, it would be helpful uh, from a lot of respects. It would give them the licenses. It would give them the pharmacists. It would give them $13 billion in drug spend, some scale there. It would give them a small PBM. Um, so, so we highlighted that as a possibility, um, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it, how it shakes out. I know you're sort of playing down the threat to the overall industry, but just in terms of this long supply chain that could be disrupted if Amazon does go in and say buy a Rite Aid, as you suggest, there's insurers, pharmacy benefit managers, distributors for drugs, drug companies themselves and pharmacies. Who should be most worried? Yeah, I mean, our, um, our, our team, our, our, our healthcare distribution team um, didn't think, like you would think distribution for Amazon, that would, that would be a likely path. Um, but our, our pharma team did not think uh, that that would be, because it's uh, been consolidated over, over the last several decades, that that would be a path. Um, so, so really, uh, they're going to get into pharmacy, retail pharmacy and male pharmacy. So there's a bit of a threat uh, to the existing players and, and, the, and the grocers. Um, but that, that's kind of how we shook out. So finally, John, uh, for all the other companies, whether it's a CVS or an Aetna, uh, how much are they, are, are they overreacting to the potential threat or not? I, I think it's, that's where we came out. Like, we think it's a little bit, too, a, little, a little too much hype versus what the actual opportunity is. And then layering in when they actually do it. Like, we have not seen Amazon um, get a, a pharmacy license uh, yet. Uh, there's no, they're not hiring any pharmacists at this point. Not saying they're not going to do it, like because the one thing that we called out in the report is 67% of Prime Subs said that they would buy prescription drugs from Amazon if they offer it. There's 55 million Prime members in the U.S. and there's great purchasing synergies. Like the the top three of the top five categories for Prime Subs right now are personal care, household goods, and uh, vitamins. Those are all front of the house, brick and mortar pharmacy. Uh, staples. So you marry that with the demand from prime subs for, for pres uh, prescription drugs. It makes total sense for them to do it. Our whole thing was like, it's just there's other areas that are that to us are, are bigger. It, it's, it'll be good, but it's not going to be, you know, kind of uh, there's just other like other areas that are bigger. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.